Today in New Things New Tech, what can we build with this array of parts? We've got half inch PVC pipe, a couple of long screws, a tripod ball head, a piece of wood, a monitor, and a few more odds and ends. Hmm, let's find out. to new things new tech. I'm Scott Drudge. So why do we have this collection of parts here and what am I going to build? Let's put it together and see. All right, so now we have the frame built out and the support board created to which everything will mount. First, I'll mount the support board to the monitor. This is a cheap VGA 15 inch monitor picked up from Goodwill for less than $5. I took apart the monitor stand and I am just using the mounting bracket. This fits snugly around the wood. Using a quarter inch screw that I cut four inches, two washers and a bolt lock the monitor to the wood. Next, I set the board and monitor on the tripod and lock it down. The main board has a couple of quarter-inch 20 insert nuts that easily mount the tripods to other components. There's a two and a half inch screw near the monitor to mount the bottom of the front cage pipe to the board and a hole drilled through near the back to mount the rear pipe to the board with another two and a half inch screw. This locks the cage down nicely and securely. Both the power and VGA cord are routed through and connected to the monitor. The support board is two feet long by two and three quarter inches wide. A six inch of three eighths inch threaded rod is put through the long slot cut into the support board. Locked down with a couple of washers and ring nuts will allow this to be adjusted up, down, forward, and backwards. A ball mount tripod head with quick release is added to where different cameras, phones, or webcams can be mounted. The Dollar Store Special 11 by 14 inch picture frame is placed on the 45 degree cage. And finally, a nice solid black shirt is added over the glass and frame. It's all assembled. Sitting on the tripod next to me, as you've already guessed, it's a teleprompter. But it's more than just that. This can also be used for many other applications. Zoom, Team, or other online virtual meetings where you want to have better eye contact is a good example. Of course, many laptops already have a camera built in, and this setup is only good when you don't have a built-in camera or using your computer with an external camera or web camera. I have three older teleprompter designs I did a couple of years ago. Nothing more than a cardboard box with a picture frame sitting above the monitor. Works well, but has its own stand in front of the camera. If I need to move the camera around, then I have to move and realign the teleprompter. Kind of big and bulky compared to this new design, right? Now everything is on one tripod and clears up some of the space and makes it much easier to use in my opinion and really cheap to build too. If you'd like to use a setup like this in your own online meetings, then there's a few options you could do. Start by plugging the VGA cable into your computer or laptop. Many computers only have HDMI or Display Ports out, so you will need a cheap HDMI or Display Port to VGA adapter to use with this older VGA monitor. They're cheap on Amazon. Set the display to extended. Put the virtual meeting window on the VGA monitor. Place your camera to be used for your meetings inside here. Mount it up on the tripod there inside the shirt or cloth or whatever you happen to be using. Point it through the glass. 
Start your meeting now and you can be looking right at the people you are chatting with. Really, you could just use your tablet, phone, or laptop with a built-in camera. But this solution is pretty good for many uses. For studio use, now it's just a matter of mounting this on your tripod, setting up your camera, and adjusting it to get close to the glass. Since the glass is at a 45 degree angle, it'll reflect whatever's on the VGA monitor for you to be able to see. The camera will see through the glass for a clear shot of you. The shirt of cloth is put over here to act as a hood to block anything that might be a reflection in this that the camera would actually see. This model will be able to mount everything on a single tripod. Balanced, it will be easy to move and set up. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to send me a note below and I'll do my best to reply as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. I'm Scott Drudge for New Things New Tech. Subscribe, leave comments. If you need help with something, let me know. Something you want to see me review? Send me a note.